this is another video from Codeworks and in this video um, I'm going to solve a problem um, from Hacker Earth website it's a competitive um, programming site and the question is I'm going, to, I'm going to read out the question so that you can understand it it says Sachin Tendulkar loves batting and is confident that he cannot get out. He knows he can go out uh, to bat and score as many runs as he wants. Okay, uh, how much runs should he score to ensure a victory for his side? His coach advises him that he should select a number n and score runs equal to the sum of the factors of n. For example, if n is 24, Sachin should score 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 12 plus 24 equal to 60 runs. So basically, we need to find the factors and the sum of all the factors. So let's begin. Um, let's um, begin. Um, okay, I'm going to code this in NetBeans and uh, summarize all of them. This is Hacker Earth, the other one, and the job class, and its name is going to be um, the winning factor. I'm going to use Java here. Okay, uh, let's begin. What is the input format? The first line of input contains t the number of test cases and t lines follow each containing a single integer and all the number of runs the number of runs you score is just press output of the n the lines follow and this could be me okay i got it actually so let's do something um Okay, now let's actually let's open this. Let's go to Java here and let's copy this code just to be safe so that they don't have any problems with this. Let's import some of the files. And 
here is 13, 12, whatever, whatever. I need that. So, n equal to n t shift bars n to the x dot with line this is done then in the for loop here but sum sum equal to 0 initially then Do is like um, what I'm thinking if it's 12 and then one is a divisor, one is a divisor, 12 is a divisor, and there cannot be any divisor more than six and less than 12. So I'm going to check only on the first part and initially need to do a few checks here actually if n is equal to, equal to zero. And um, n the divisor, so it's one plus n because it was in brackets, so that uh, we don't face any unnecessary problems. Then the for <coughs> for i equal to two i is less than equal to n by two i plus plus. Then okay, <coughs> integer n in i. Then um. Some of the factorials. Okay, um, this is what I think. Then let's print it out. System of printer and what is the printer and system of the dish. This should be it actually. Um, let's copy paste this one. Let's see if it works. Where is the ending one? This is the What is the class? Here, there's an error there. That's interesting. The voltage of the seems to be a problem. <coughs> okay. Um, I 
last profile reader profile reader cannot find somebody why oh obviously uh, obviously I didn't uh, keep, keep the I didn't keep the imports so that's why let's see what happens now it shows a tick here just click submit and let's cross our fingers again let's see let's see evaluating accepted accepted it says accepted so I guess our solution is correct the pretty easy one should be okay Next question. Let's turn captain. Okay. Okay, this one. Let's try this one. Now, there are few submissions actually. So let's try this one. Karan and Anjum. Karan and Anjum. Karan has just learned from Sonia how a number can be raised to another number. Using the concept of power pop and now let's do something. Um, let me pause this video and stop this video. I will continue in the next video.